I think my shoes get a little bit more comfy. I couldn't afford more chairs because the first ones we had weren't that great. So I essentially just made a cardboard couch is what right. I made. Um, We're in sync. We are. Little like feet pads are in sync. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Um, do you want to start it or no? No. No? <laughs> okay. I mean, it's on your channel, so it, it should be you. But it's it's a co a co -ran, a show that's co ran. Mm hmm. You should still do it. Meaning you also like partially own the rights to this show. You should still do it. Okay, you're doing the next one. Mm -hmm. sure <laughs> <laughs> All right, hello everyone. Welcome to another episode, or an officially the first episode of Tea on Thursday. Um, the show where we will officially, as of this Thursday, I promise you, uh, we will do weekly shows of this on Thursdays. I got a lot of people telling me that the last one wa wasn't on Thursday, so they were like, what the hell? <laughs> um, we're doing this on Friday, though. We're doing this on Friday. They're not going to see this until Thursday. Really? Well, what am I going to do? Here, I can't about, time travel like an Animal Crossing. Should we make it up and go for two hours? What do you mean? Because we missed last uh, Thursday. No, because because an episode zero doesn't count. An episode zero is like, it's like the pilot episode. And then it's like, you know how like there's pilot episodes and they don't begin until like two months later. Like, you'll, you'll see one episode, and they'll be like, yep, that's the first episode, and we hope you like it, and if it did well, then you'll get to see more of this show. I think that's how Spongebob started. Discord cut it out for me. Oh, well, I was saying that, Shoot. I was saying that, like, that's how Spongebob started. Like, it was in one episode. It, it was like an episode in, like, a cartoon block. Um, which is just a bunch of different cartoons, and then the ones that were received the best would get a show. Or at least that's mm. usually that's usually how I hear they happen. What else? Family Guy started off as a cartoon block. Um, the Simpsons started off as a, I think it was like a segment in like Mad TV or something like that. That's how most shows start. Including this one. That's how this one's starting. It did, it did pretty well. I'm, I'm happy with episode zero. Yeah. Uh, but as you guys know, I'm, uh, I'm Lee or Cody or Nerdio, whatever you want to call me. I go by all three with me. I have vitamin. Oh, Hey, I'm oh, the dude next to him. Yeah. He's the dude right next to me. If you're watching the video. <laughs> um, oh, wait, hold up. Hold up. I got, I got, no, wrong, no. what? Hey, there we go. Hey, hit the, hit the, Hey, <laughs> Wait, wait. <laughs> I did, yeah. No, I have like the. the yeah. Oh, yeah. That one? Yeah. Oh, this one. <laughs> I think I have that one. No, I have like apologetic. I don't have that one. Oh, man. It's kind of freezing here. Right. Man. Yeah. It's a little cold in here. I got to get a new heater in this room. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the best one. The surprise emo in this game might be the best one. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> um. But yeah, uh, I'm. I forgot. We're supposed to say what tea we're drinking. Ryan, what tea are oh, you yeah. drinking? I am drinking the original green tea decaf. No sugar. Wow, hot. brave soul! I'm having a hot lemon tea with honey in it, and I think the honey's more interesting than the tea. Honestly, my first. Well, one of my first times trying this honey. I've had it before, but uh, and it was pretty good. Although I never had it for tea, but I think it'll go good with tea. Mm -hmm. um, but it's like a locally, locally, like sold honey. So I I can't really shout out what honey it is because nobody will get it. Um, but it's like it's from here, here. Yeah, like here, here. Like, like the juices that you see at the the Walmart here. What? Yeah. Oh. They they're from like here, here. This honey, <laughs> this honey. Yeah, it's it. <laughs> They they uh -huh. call it like a summer delight, honey, and it's like it's not summer, but I, all right. I actually haven't tried it with the tea yet. Let me go in for a little bit. 
So that's flames. Uh, <laughs> that's flames. Before I went into quarantine, because I had to, mm -hmm. I bought another Zippo lighter. Oh, not bad. Because uh, I kind of messed up the uh, string on the other one. Yeah, I get you. Because I accidentally bought the wrong lighter fluid. I bought the ones I use for barbecuing. Are you for... serious, Ryan? You buy gas. <laughs> and and then because uh, I had to pull it out, pull out the string. You essentially just bought like the equivalent of like putting car gas in a barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> did I did I cut out for you any anywhere right there? No. Interesting. Interesting. So you cut out for me, like I can't hear you, but I, you can hear me talk still. I can still hear you talk. Yeah, we haven't that's, cut out since we started. That's annoying. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I got an, another uh, Zippo lighter. <laughs> do you want? It? Um, you said it doesn't work, right? <laughs> no, it does work. But it's, it's full just like, of like bad gas, right? No, no, no. I I replaced it with the uh, better gas. Oh, okay. Well, sure. Why not? I mean, a lighter is a lighter. I don't it's need black one. And it's, it's black and it's mate. I don't need it. I don't need a lighter, but I Neither guess. do I, but it's... I like the sound. Just, oh, oh, yeah. The, the ch <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I get it. That's very satisfying. <laughs> it freaking is. Ooh. Shut up. Are you making fire as we speak? No. Oh. <laughs> All right, cool. I mean, I mean, I can I can turn it on, but yeah. But why? You're not supposed you to keep it on for a long time because you melt the. Uh, the You'll metal actually metal. melt the metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, the flint so. and steel, the flint and steel inside of it. Mm -hmm. That's required some, for like the spark. There's some tricks you can do with it. Like if you go on YouTube, you can see it. You're looking up oh, Zippo lighter tricks. I mean, it's not like butterfly knife tricks, but it's still tricks. <laughs> can you do butterfly knife tricks have you looked into this uh i've seen i've seen practice like plastic ones that you can order so you can like practice with that first and then you can get like the actual ones mm -hmm. but there ain't no plastic zippos so yeah. that's right well why would there be mm -hmm. you will just also, also in a uh, walmart they have uh, some game informer or whatever thingies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they had one for Animal Crossing. Yeah, I got two. I didn't get the one for Animal Crossing because I get, well, I already get a, I already am subscribed to a magazine called Nintendo Force. Mm -hmm. And they do, they do a, an issue, not monthly, every two months. But they cover like everything that's coming up like for those two months. So it's like they don't miss much. Mm -hmm. um, but no, it's like I got one for... They just did one for Animal Crossing New Horizons, and it's great. I would highly recommend Nintendo Force. It's just they charge you $5 an issue. So not a month, an issue on Patreon. Um, it's pretty sick. I mean, these came with a, a poster. So do so do these, yeah. Every every issue of Nintendo Force comes with a poster, and the one that it came with for Animal Crossing, of course, has Animal Crossing on one side, and then it's double sided. So you also have a um, a Pokemon, like uh, I forgot the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game. I forgot the name of it. Oh, fake fan, I know. But this this one was uh, uh the the front cover of the box, mm -hmm. and then another. And the, and, the, and the other side, it had, like, another trailer poster thingy. Oh, my God, Ryan. So, I, can I just tell you? I'll, mm. I'll, I'll put it up. I'll put it up on the video. I just want to ask you, why Why do you hate my uh, my desktop background? I just... <laughs> What's the problem with it, bro? Anybody so, watching the video, my uh, you, know you can DLC. see it. You can see my desktop background if you're watching the video on the if you're listening on like Spotify, which you better be, by the way. Absolutely. Listen to this on Spotify. Um, it's just Jonesy from Fortnite who just won a Smash Brothers round against Sans Undertale. It's great. I love it. Ryan doesn't. Ryan, why don't you like it?
Because I hate DLC and the fact that this freaking <laughs> Fortnite mod is going to be... That could be... Right, the fact that it could be. See, that's the thing. Oh is that you know it's entirely possible. Because you know they just don't care. Like, they will put anybody in this game. They put Sans, <laughs> and that's already, like, going over the limit. Right, they, they added a reference to Undertale. They've added uh, Cuphead and Banjo. Um, who are both Microsoft characters. <laughs> I mean, Fortnite isn't... It's not... That's the thing. Fortnite is a possible contender because it's not even, like, exclusive to just US. It's a worldwide thing. Mm. Also, holy hell, I'm sorry, but this tea... Fire with this honey. Oh my god. It's lit. Like, I might make a second batch, but that'll be off the stream. Um, damn, what was I going to say? Remember when we had a lot of things that we said were podcastable and now we're not what? breaking up? <laughs> or at least I forgot all the things I thought were podcastable. Hello? Hello? Uh, oh, yeah. You're, you're kind of like going in and out for me. No, it's fine. Remember, most of this can get cut out. <laughs> um, Hello? Hello. Okay, so it's like uh, the, the annoying thing is is like I, my internet sucks so bad. Um, Mine's good, what, but it's it's loud over here. What do you mean it's loud? Like there's a lot of people in my house. Oh. Like we have good internet. Well, I have good internet. I have I have internet just for just for me. Like literally, I I I pay for it. It's just for me. Only I use it. Well, I hook the friends up, but it's because the internet for the rest of the house is just bad. And I was like, hey, you know, I could totally pay for better internet if y'all just want to go half with me. And they're like, yeah, no, we're not gonna do that. And I was like, all right. And so I was like, this internet sucks. I'm gonna just pay for it for myself. And now. Everybody's like, you know what? We'll go 50-50 with you. We'll, we'll absolutely do it. Do you still want to do that? Do you, you still want to go 50-50? And I'm like, no, I don't still want to go 50-50 because I'm perfectly fine now. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, it was. it's a good opportunity. Why wouldn't you take it? Uh, I was thinking of talking to Spectrum and being like, yo... I'm really frustrated <laughs> with this freaking pack that you had me because this was before that they switched to Spectrum. Mm -hmm. So I have this pack and they always want us to switch. And I feel like they're making our internet bad on purpose. Like they're throttling so, it? Mm hmm. And plus, uh, this uh, we had a dog that pulled on the wires. I don't know if it's the wire that's messing up. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask him. Even though they say, oh, you have a wires, I'm going to be like, nope, please take those out. I will pay for new wires. Right. I don't care. I want good internet because right. I cannot deal with technology. I hate. I know you hate tech. Hate you it. just hate technology. No, I just hate how they. I, I've been saying this so much, but I hate how they say, oh, it's super fast. And I'm, and I'm using it. And it's like, hey, I can't download freaking. I have to wait 17 hours to download Jedi New Order or whatever. Well, that's just because I feel like that's also because PS4 games are huge. Like, they're massive now. Um, like, PS4 games are outrageously big. Yeah, also, yeah, I got a Jedi New Order or whatever it's called. How, how big was that game, like, size-wise? I'm gonna look that up. 42? 42 gigabytes? Yeah, I, I downloaded it in a day. See, I would say that's not even that big. But that's not big by today's standards. It's it's still a really that's a lot. Like that's a huge. Like, yeah, but my friends can download, let's say, Call of Duty Warfare. Uh, Modern Warfare. No, the the new free Battle Royale one. Oh, I know what you're it's a mode. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, they they download that easy. I'm like, and I'm over here like, what's going on? And well, because it's like it's apparently like you have to have the game installed already, and then when you have the game installed, then you can install the the side stuff. I believe that's just 
something I, I I've been told. And it's like some of my friends can download and play games. And uh, for me, when I download and I'm in a party, I kind of sound like robot, mm -hmm. like a robot a bit. But they don't, even though they're downloading the game. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, Which, speaking of playing the game, I'm just going to do some stuff in Animal Crossing while uh, we keep talking. I'll just follow you, homie. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why can I move? Okay, there you go. I gotta put on my shoes. Gotta put on your shoes. I mean, eventually when we get more stuff, um, <laughs> we'll stay inside. The podcast room will look nice for any, for anybody watching the this show. The podcast room will eventually look nice. Promise you that. Mm -hmm. But right now, you're gonna have to just have to deal with cardboard couch. If I sell stuff in your place, would I get it? What do you mean? Would they, would they send it to me? What do you mean? Like if I put the uh, my items in the box in the cranny. Um, I'm not sure. I don't. Need, I don't know if you can use Nick's cranny. I can't. I I could buy stuff here. Oh, then go for it. Oh, they have a freaking <laughs> <Portable record player? laughs> yeah, a thousand. Yes, please. It's four thousand. Hmm. It's four thousand, isn't it? I got it. Nice. Only folks from this island can use it. Shoot. There you go. So I, I can't even like do anything here. All well, I you, could do is. I guess you could just like complete your Nook Miles, I guess. Dang it, what else? All right. <laughs> I was saying, yeah, was... I'm not sure if you heard me earlier. I was saying like, we, we were talking, we, we were complaining before the show. Like, dude, just shut up. Don't talk because what you're about to say is podcastable. And now I can't remember any of the things I said that we were going to say were podcastable. Whatchamacallit. The big uh, scare. Oh, you, you want to talk about your big scare? Huh? You want to talk about your big scare? Go for it. Okay, so I'm gonna take some roses, by the way. What? I'm gonna take some roses. You pee? Yeah, I hate you. Go ahead. Yeah. Yo, you have black roses. I do have black roses. Leave those alone. Yeah, I'm not touching this. <laughs> I'll send you some if I get extra. But yeah. I, I need I need to work on like breeding and stuff like that. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing over there. So, what I'm doing with my oh, ooh, what is it? Oh, you have like a little pla like place for your trees. Yeah, it's an orchard. Oh shoot! Yeah, the the very front is the money tree, and then everything else is um. Money tree? How do you do that? So you know, like those golden spots where you dig money. Uh huh. Just plant as much as you want, and however much you plant is however much it'll grow. So if I put a thousand, I'll get a thousand back. If you put a thousand, you'll get a thousand for each bag that grows. And that'll just keep going. Yeah. So, well, okay. So, it's like the the fruit trees. It's like the fruit trees. Yeah, except you plant money. So it just keeps going. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I mean, I did that. At, oh no, I put I put a tree in there. I didn't put like ah oh, shoot. You didn't put money in there. No, I didn't put money. I just no, put a you, tree. I'm like you just oh. have to, you have to plant money. Yeah, like the like there's a little sprout right here in front of town hall. That's a money tree. So how'd you get that over there? What do you mean? Did you wait until like it just turns into like a little slapling and then just dig it up and then put it? No, you could dig up sprouts. You just plant it, pick it up with the shovel, and then move it. Put oh, it wherever you just, want. Like, that it just has to be there. No. No, could you imagine getting that lucky? Me? No way. Okay, uh, look at your map. Uh, look at my map. Okay. Okay, so basically, oh, your your town is kind of like mine. Okay, so I was thinking of having. Is is this all the buildings we're gonna have? No. Now there's gonna be more. 
my left side is going to be um where all the houses are i'm going to make that into a neighborhood i'm going to have that like a nine uh three by three so nine houses there mm. and maybe like one towards the back and then somewhere i feel like probably in front of the orchards i'm going to put uh, like a park because um, like right here where no, we're at. like the mu airport museum and all that stuff is is that how we're gonna have what do you mean like as buildings like important buildings i don't i'm not sure because there are more important buildings that should come but for them like the coffee shop but I don't right know. brewsters i'm trying to hang out at brewsters my guy because here, here's what i wanted to do huh. i wanted to uh hmm. take out the left like take out the the left stream make that all land Put it to where like it's a uh, it's like a kind of like a neighborhood, probably like in a circle or like in that square, and then below it a park, and then keep make the top part of the island like some type of farmland, so just like the trees and the fruits and bamboo and all that stuff. Right. And then I don't know about the campsite. I don't know if I should put it. Because on the campsite, it's it's close. It's to the left for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I like the fact that you can like change the, like if you don't like how where you put your uh, uh, your buildings, mm -hmm. you can you can you can move them. Yeah, if you just pay enough, they'll move them for you. Next day. Oh my. God, this tea. I'm sorry. That honey makes it so much better. I uh, I kind of wanted it to be a little town hall or like a little, you know, like a little outlet place. So I got you. I don't know. It's like the map looks bigger than it's. The map looks bigger than it feels. But yeah. at the same time, I totally believe it's that big. It's just that I feel like I'm not taking advantage of the space the no, way I should be. It's like, I want the houses to be a little bit more closer together, but they're like, no, you can't do that. It's like, okay, so... You can I put them, to... like, one space apart, I believe. Mm. Which one space, I feel like, yeah, one one unit of space is close. Then you have to put, like, the stuff in front, and then... Then what do you, well, I don't put the stuff in front. I'm going to just put, like, roads in between. Like, no, like walkways. To, for people to come by or come over here, you need to, like, put uh, what they want. Oh, and then as soon as Tom Nook says it's okay, you take it away. Yeah, that's what I did. But... <laughs> that's the deal. I was like, all right, can I take it away? And then, yeah, they used to claim. And I was like, all right, can I sell it? And yeah, they still came. So... <laughs> So, oh, so I got a little, little, some, some. What do you mean? Uh, so, so I made, I made this. I'm pretty sure you've seen me wear this before, but this is like my favorite sweater. And I just had to put it in this game. Oh, sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like an actual sweater you own. It's dope. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I did. I'm like, sweet. Not bad. Um, so, I saw online mm -hmm. uh, some Rainbow Siege stuff. <laughs> so, okay. Bam. All right. I... No, come back. I'll see you later. <laughs> no, come back. You're the one with the freaking stupid Fortnite and your freaking desktop. <laughs> Shut up, bro. I think it's hilarious. I think it's so funny. <laughs> I, no. I I don't see that as anything else but funny. What's up, Gulliver? Can I at least sell this to the Nook babies? The Nooklings? Yeah. <clears throat> it's funny how they're not even his kids. Yeah, that's, they're his nephews. <laughs> Which I think is great. It, it's more relatable to me, I guess. 
Oh, I can sell, but only to them. Yeah, directly to them. Sucks that I can. Uh... In the end, it's it's better, Wait, just because it's have, like. Do you have pears? I do have pears. They're growing in the orchard. Do you have coconuts? I do have coconuts. They're growing on the beach. Cherries. I do have cherries. They're growing in the orchard. Okay. Still waiting for apples though. I have apples. You're going in the orchard. <laughs> I need apples, and then I need... I already have peaches. I don't know what else. Shoot. What other uh, fruits are there? <laughs> um, There are apples, peaches, coconuts, pears, oranges, and cherries. That's it. I need oranges. I have oranges. They're going in the orchard. Jeez, dude. What? <laughs> I have them all. Yo, can you be a homie? And... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to homie stock that for you. Please. Will do, will do. I have to send a lot of people are getting to me about apples. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they're just like a, a rarity, and I don't know why they shouldn't uh, be. I can't order. Oh, I just got oh. berry. So far, the only thing I have grown right now are peaches and pears and cherries. So you'll have to wait on those uh, oranges and. All right. It says I had to make some stuff. To get five times Nick Miles. Mm -hmm. And you make three things. Do you need anything to be made? No. I have a lot of material. No, I'm good. Oh, you didn't hit that rock up there. The what? That, that rock. You didn't hit it. Take it. If it's moolah. If it's moolah. So, um, yeah. what? how do you feel about Last of Us? And the situation going on there? I am really upset. I would imagine you are. I am waiting way too long for this. <laughs> You're waiting way too long for this? <laughs> if it helps, I know how you feel. Breath of the Wild went through a, like so much garbage. Like, oh no, you you did take it. Never. Breath of the Wild went through so much. It's nuts. But it still came out. It still came out, of course. Your game didn't have to be held up by a virus. Mine does. That's fair. In a game about <laughs> freaking virus. No, parasites. That's, yeah. Uh, same thing. What else was I going to talk about? Right. <laughs> what else did we say with Paz Castle? I'm just browsing 4chan. Cool. Um, Can I just say 4chan sucks? Like, I hate visiting this website, but it's all I do. But you said it was the cool thing. 4chan sucks, but because it sucks, it's pretty cool. Is I mean, I get a bean. It's a bean, yeah. Because my uh, island's name is Garbanzo. So does that mean I had to uh, <laughs> put my flag a certain thingy? What do you mean? What do I mean? Yeah, like you don't have to change your flag if you don't want to. Want to. <laughs> oh, did you change your uh, phone color? I did, yeah. I just made it black. Uh, I was thinking of making it white. That's fair. Did you know if you keep pressing next, you can still you can make some facts eh, faster? If you keep pressing A, you mean? A, yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm <laughs> PlayStation freaking... PlayStation oriented. trash. I'm kidding. PlayStation, PlayStation 4 is great. 
Speaking of PlayStation 4, what do you think of PlayStation 5? I haven't seen it, and I'm waiting... I told you this, and I'm waiting for uh, the new and improved PlayStation 5. That's Pro right, or... yeah. You're waiting for the better version, I guess, to come out. Mm-hmm. What, what do you feel about the things that they've said so far about the PlayStation 5? People aren't taking it well. Like, people are hating What did they say, Cody? Well, Ryan, I'll tell you. Um... They they've straight up said that it will not be as strong as the other consoles next gen. And as of right now, it's it's power is it's 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 less powerful than Google Stadia, which is a streaming service. And I yeah, find that to be a like how much. Um, let let me look up the specific specs of the PlayStation Five that they that they've officially announced on a live stream. So, do you know, like, how much it's going to hold? It will hold. Um, like, memory-wise? Yeah, memory-wise. Uh, so, memory-wise, it's going to be... Um, it's going to be... It's weird. So, it's going to come with... How much did they say? Uh, it will come with... Oh my gosh! I don't think they. I don't think they've said how much the console will come with, but they've straight up said that it will come with um, expandable storage. Like it'll it'll come with just storage. Like add on. Yeah, like it, it. It'll come with additional storage that you can add on yourself. It won't be specific Sony branded stuff that you'll be able to add on to it. Um. Because apparently it was a really big problem that you have to search out like specific kinds of hard drives. But now they're just saying you could use like almost any hard drive. But of course, there will be like a preferred brand, I guess. Interesting. Uh, they're also saying it will be, um, it'll be an eight core. It'll be running on eight cores. Uh, it will mean. be. So it's like your chances are your laptop runs on two cores. Like any laptop, mo most standard laptops run on two cores, and it's just like a way to divide the power that it's running amongst different, like, it it'll run things, it'll run it on different types of hardware, so we're not putting so much stress on one. Mm. Um, it'll come with 10.28 teraflops. I don't know what a teraflop is, homie. Like memory wise? No, this that's not memory wise. They never said how much memory it's coming with. Oh, okay. They just said you'll be able to expand the memory if you want to. Teraflops. That sounds like a bad time. Sounds like a bad time. <laughs> um I got a crawfish. Nice. Yeah, the crawfish are pretty pretty nice. Um, but they have said it will come out um, still, currently, between October and December of this year. Um, they said that only a few titles are currently coming out. And they said one of the titles they're currently working on is Ghost of Tsushima. Um, mm. They've also said that there will be little backwards compatibility. The apparently only a a top few select, like basically the top played PS4 games essentially, will be backwards compatible. And I know that they later fixed this into trying to say, uh, no, what we meant to say was almost all PS4 games, but that still we still don't know what that means, like what the what the phrase almost all. PS4 games means a lot of people were saying that Knack probably won't make it, which is probably true. I want Knack to come back, man. Um, and then they've also have confirmed that uh, PlayStation 5 will have VR and that there's rumors going around with a PSVR 2. Well, can I play Steam stuff? Probably not. So why would I get it? The PSVR? Eh. That's what I'm saying. Um, like, if you're playing VR, play PC games. That's just so how it is. You you got, what, 
the Oculus. I got the yeah. Oculus Quest. Is it good? I like it a lot. I love it. Um, and it also has, here's the thing. Cool thing about the Quest is that it has a thing called Oculus Link, which does allow you to play your PC VR game. So not only can you play games off the Oculus Quest itself for a full wireless experience, but you can also play any VR games you have like on Steam. Through, the, through methods like side loading and Oculus Link. So, you don't need a high tech computer to play VR. No. That, that's essentially what the Quest is telling you. The Quest is saying, yeah, we don't need no PC. You could play it all on the Quest. However, if you're wanting to play PC games, P, like PC VR games, you will have to meet the specs on the PC. Okay. Because so because essentially, if you're if you're playing your PC games with your Quest, it's essentially working as like just like a headset for your PC. So let's say I want to play, I don't know, Skyrim. Uh -huh. I would have to have a good computer. You'd have to have a computer that can run Skyrim. Uh, so let's say because I can run Skyrim, but on a very low quality. I'm not sure about that. I'm not gonna lie to you. I have no clue. I'm okay. not gonna. I'm not gonna hit you with facts. I don't know. All right. So, just VR games that are specifically VR, I should be okay with. Yeah. Okay. So be what good about there. the the CS Go one? Do I need? A good oh, computer? for um, what's it called? Uh, Pavlov. Yeah. No. You don't. You could you could play it fully on the quest. Okay. Just off the hardware itself. And it's great. Pavlov is fun. It's a weird experience. You have it? Oh yeah, I do. I want it. It's a weird experience, man. It's it's wild. It's super How much did you say to cost you? The Oculus Quest? Yeah. Four hundred dollars. Oh <laughs> <laughs> I kinda want it. I can buy it, but it's just like Four hundred dollars. Four hundo. Do you have? Is it just? You don't have to set any cameras up or anything. What do you mean? No, you don't have to set I up any cameras. You. No. You you just what you do is when you put on the headset, right? You get um. So you you'll have to like draw with the uh with the controllers, like a square around you. And then it'll be like, okay, so this is the space you want to use to play, right? They call it the Guardian. This is the Guardian space you want to play in. And you're like, yep. It's like, all right, cool. Keep that in mind. And then the, the headset tells you. It gives you warnings on when you're stepping out of that zone. It's, it's pretty sick. So it's like you're, you're, it, you'll like never be like not warned about like, oh, am, am I too far? Am I about to bump into something? No, the headset will always tell you, hey, you, you're about to bump into something or you might bump into something. So could I like play with you? What do you mean? Can I, could I play with you? On what? On any game. Like multiplayer? Two just player. just yeah. does it have multiplayer? Yes. Okay. And it's sick. Hmm. All right, I mean, I'll look into it. Probably in like one or two checks away. Nice. So, um, as much as I hate talking about it, uh, gamers are rising up because of the virus, dude. Gamers are rising, rising up. Oh. Like, like, hella people are playing games right now. Like, a mad people are playing video games. Oh, I thought you meant, like, fighting against Corona. Oh, no. No, I mean, just game, like, the amount of gamers that are coming up. They're, they're rising. We're, we're, become, we're coming up. You know, I've noticed that I've been finding games faster than usual. I'm like, this is pretty nice. Yeah, I've been I've been dipping more into games, um, into my because I'm always trying to expand like what games I play. Like as much as I like being a Nintendo loser, 
I'm always trying to expand my games I play. That's why I have things like a like a VR headset and a PlayStation 4. And I'm probably going to buy the Series X when that comes out, the Xbox. Ew. Ew, I know. It's disgusting. Ew, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't do it. No. There's don't the stop. Why Nintendo and PlayStation are following them and like. Bro, you can say to that. Play online. Oh, well, they were the first to do that, right? Yeah, with Xbox, yeah, Xbox. Live on the original. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then um, PlayStation was like, we should do that. And then we should do like, that, too. Yeah. It's like, I hate this. That's why. I, that's the only reason why right, I hate them. Right. That is never going away. I will always say no to Xbox. Really? If they even, if they even come to us and be like, hey, really? what, I'll be what like, if, nope, get out of my house, please. What, what if they say Kingdom Hearts has exclusively become a Microsoft-owned series? I would hate them more because I know they'll be like, hey, they're what killer if, Kingdom what, Hearts. What if, what, if, what, if, what if next year they're like, by the way, what if like this indefinite hiatus on Last of Us is just because like we've announced Last of Us Part 2 exclusively on the Xbox One? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my <laughs> god! Oh my god! They don't own. They don't own Naughty Dog, bro. Sony doesn't own Naughty Dog. <laughs> just... Ooh, I would be so pissed. Dude. <laughs> you can find the Last of Us series in 4K. Not only that, I'll for all Xbox of you gamers, even more. <laughs> I will hate Naughty Dog. You'll hate Naughty Dog. Mm-hmm. I mean, if they do, like, oh... And, it's and a... what would Xbox have to do for you to like them? What would they have to do? Get rid of the play, play, uh, paying online thingy. Get rid of Xbox Live. No, like, that. You have to pay. Yeah, that's that's what that is. Or, or okay, gold yeah. Xbox Live Gold memberships is what they're called, specifically. Basically. Um, Dude, they will make so much money right now if they see, switch back that... to... See, that's the thing. They're making a lot of money off their Game Pass. Do you know what that is? It's essentially like video game Netflix. Mm -hmm. And so you pay a monthly fee, right? I, I forget how much it is. I don't know how much Game Pass is. It's a pretty... Really pissing me off. It's a pretty solid fee. But here's the thing. It's essentially video game Netflix. So you have an, a huge, like, just like this massive library of games on the Xbox. And you can download as many as you want or as many as you can. Um, and then just play all of them. And then you could just delete them and play more games. I think PlayStation. Has, yeah, PlayStation has it. What, if, what, what would it be? What's, that, what's theirs called? Because I haven't heard of PlayStations. PlayStation. I'm not going to say now. PlayStation, PlayStation now is their streaming service. Okay, then that's it's... where it's like you can you can play your games on like your laptop or whatever. I forgot what it's called, but you can play like uh, Fallout Three, mm -hmm. Red Dead Redemption, other games. <laughs> other games? <laughs> no, yeah, like that's, like that's what they always show on the cover. Well, that's uh, that's probably where I feel like that's why Xbox's Game Pass is doing so well. Like it's doing stupid well for xbox and i feel like if they if they maybe like change their like focus like i feel like maybe they can get rid of their um paid online service if they and if, if, they, if they get rid of their paid online service and then just purely stick to game pass subscriptions that would be great i think that that'd be, be fantastic because game pass i like, would i would think of switching right exactly that that would totally just 180 that would totally be like, whoa, Xbox looking pretty nice then. Like if they keep mm -hmm. if they keep that game pass to where it's like you can play all these games, just pay one just pay once a month. And you have an unlimited access to these games. Full games. Like you can do whatever you want with these games as if they were your own copy. If it's five dollars a month, then I'll be like, ooh. Five dollars? I'll look that up. I'll look I'll look up the price to it, but that would be some serious competitive wait, stuff but that'll be wait five times 12 is wouldn't that be six sixty dollars a month a year Ooh. if you play five dollars a month Ooh, that doesn't sound nice let's see xbox game pass pricing um whoa get the, okay so get this get this um Xbox game Xbox Game Pass not only it's nine ninety nine per month, 
but not only um what's it called gives you games for your xbox but also gives you games for your pc so you can play it on pc you can play your games on pc as well like you could totally just do xbox How game much? pass on pc not t- 9.99 a month ten dollars a month that's like what 120 that's 120 a year but you, but think about that you're paying <laughs> The the price the price of two games you're playing an unlimited amount of brand new games right then and there. I think that's fantastic. Like like I know I that mean, when Devil May Cry Five just came out, they're immediately like, "Yeah, it's going to be on Game Pass." I love Reach, but do I like it that much? Well, t- well, Reach you can just pay once on Steam for ten ninety nine. This is reach is ten dollars. I might buy that right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think I'm buying that right now. You want to play reach tonight, bro? Do you want to play reach? <laughs> you want to play reach tonight? <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I don't know. I don't know if my computer can take it. And plus, um, you know the whole. Well, 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 I'm gonna open up Steam right now, and we'll look into like the hardware it takes to play reach. But oh my god, I I dude. just think that that Game Pass is like killer. Like they could they Freaking could totally kill. Reach. They can like I feel like they can just kill their their live service. Just stick to Game Pass, bro. Reach is like the best Halo game ever. Reach is fantastic. Reach I is insane, it, dude. dude. I bro, like I swear was, to it's it's ten dollars. Ten dollars reason why I went to my cousin's house to use his Xbox. Because Reach was not but it's like here they are. I think it's. I could be wrong, but I'm ninety percent sure it's on Steam. Or if it's not on Steam, it's on like the Xbox Store. Yeah, Halo Reach on Steam. And you don't have to pay like any. Seven ninety nine. It's twenty percent off. Right now? Yes. I'm buying it as we speak. Seven I'm, nine. Wait, let me it. let me look at the hardware you need. I don't care. I'm buying. It, it says your system requirements: eight gigabytes of RAM. 25 gigabytes available. Wow. I'm buying it. I'm buying it right now, bro. I'm buying it right now. Bro, I just hear you tapping away, my guy. I forgot my password to my Steam. Oh, my God. Uh... F, did I free? Can we get an F in the comments, boys? Bro, are we about to play Halo Reach tonight, my guy? After the podcast? Uh, I'm only so down, dude. Bro. <laughs> do I have cat books on? Okay, they'll talk. Okay. Um... Maybe finally, after decades of not hearing from him, we can play a game with Adam. I highly doubt that. I you doubt it? I doubt it. You still think there's no way? <laughs> there's no way. Adam, if you're hearing this, which I'm pretty sure you're there's not. There's no way. You don't even t- say that. He's not. Um, Ugh, it's gonna take me four hours. We we love you, homie, but homie, you gotta work on something. I won't give you my homie stock. <laughs> no, you're not getting homie stock from me, bro. No way. <laughs> you will SD real quick. You will SD and hold that L, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. But, man, Halo days were great. Halo days were fantastic. The customization. <laughs> bro, did you ever play Forge? Did you ever play Forge? Forge? Bro, Which I was on Forge was when you could, like, make your own maps. And then no. you could you, you could make your own maps and then host custom games on those maps. Like As team a little bit planet one lover, I never made a map. Oh my god. Well here's the thing, I'd never made a map either. But I still think being able to mess around with the assets of the game was lit. I always played Griff Ball. Griff Ball was sick. <laughs> Griff Ball was so, cool, was so dope, bro. Uh, oh I can't I kinda wanna cry because of that. <laughs> it so I, I take it you you if you played Griff Ball, you watched Red vs. Blue, right? Okay, honestly, I 
I haven't learned about red versus blue. And so after reach or what? After like far after reach. Whoa. And, and then when I hear like, they're like, cause I used to listen to, what did I kind of do? I kind of stopped. Um, listen to uh, the podcast and like, Oh, we invented Griff Ball. I'm like, they invented oh, Griff Ball. We invented Griff Ball. Yeah, they did. It's a reference oh, to, like, it's a reference to red the, the versus blue. Griff. Yeah. The character. I was like, yo, that's so sick. <laughs> no, Griff Ball was dope. I, I wonder if it's still a mode. It better be a mode. It, no, it, it has better to be. Because be. it was within the game. Yeah. And then they took it off because that was the only Reach game that had it. So, yeah. Oh my God. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what George is going to think now that Halo Reach is installing on my. <laughs> Computer, Xbox. he's he's gonna constantly be like, bro, let me let me play uh let me play Reach, let me play Reach, bro. Listen, uh whoever if if anyone, which I know they're not, if if you guys an Xbox or any one of you, I don't care if it's the receptionist to the janitor, if you hit me up, I can make your company millions. Bro, stop it. You're not gonna join their PR team. <laughs> You're not. I can make you millions. Well, that that's Here. the thing. I've. I I'll would even go further beyond billion, billions, <laughs> billions of dollars. You want billions of dollars right now? You hire this man. Billions. Someone play. Um, can someone link n- the song mm-hmm. Nintendo hire this man on uh, the comment section? Thank you. That'd be great. Uh, so, yeah. Um. You want billions? You hire this man, Microsoft. <laughs> you, I can be uh, Fizeme, but for uh, Xbox. For Xbox, okay. For Xbox. You're gonna replace Phil Spencer. I'm not saying I want to be the president. I'm just. That's what I'm, he was. <laughs> yeah, but I could be a downgraded version. Like you come <laughs> for me for ideas. I just. Stay in my office, play games, and then you come like, "Hey, we need money." And be like, "Okay." Well, not- they they have a they have a team specifically for new ideas. I got tons of ideas, dude. And there you go. Good. Plus, not not to make this a thing, but I'm part of the minority, so I can. Oh win. my god! <laughs> I can I can boost sales. I can relate. I can I can relate to. I can relate to our gamers. Yep. Um, what's it called? I, no, but dude, I. So you know how like I'm getting a degree for like working on working specifically with video games. Sure. I would love to work for Microsoft, absolutely, but, but, <sighs> under one condition. Uh huh. I would only work for Microsoft if. Uh, well, here's the thing: if I work for Microsoft, it's not that I would work for Microsoft under the condition. If I work for Microsoft. I would not leave Microsoft until I get a Banjo remake. I wouldn't. I'm not leaving that company until a Banjo remake is made. And that's just how it is. I'm 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 not going to force any other thing. They they can do whatever they want. They can do whatever. But so let, let, me, with that, let me recreate the Banjo team. Yeah. As soon as they may, as soon as I get the Banjo remake, I'm out of there. Go on. Can make a good Banjo game? Do I think I can make a good Banjo game? Mm-hmm. Maybe not a new one. I f- I would want to remake the first one. But Nintendo, listen up. If you want, uh, I know it's most of the Japanese who makes the games. But hey, if any of you who speak English and happen to be listening to this, I can make a good Pokemon game. Just well, you know that me. um, I can make a good one. I'm telling you. Well, they well what's it called Pokemon design team for. Uh, Sword and Shield was f- done in France. Like all Pokemon were made in France for that. Um, and then Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle that was made in the UK by David Soliani. I'm made- just saying, I can make a really good Pokemon game. See, that's the thing. They're 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 totally fine with letting other people make their games. It's just that you have to show that you're good. Because Nintendo is very strict with the quality. And you have to prove to them that you can actually get this game done. Well, 
It would be. I can't like make it make it because I don't know. Any well, then there you go. They're or, not. They're not but, gonna approve you. But here's the thing. They're not gonna. I approve can you. give good ideas. Okay, but they're not gonna to approve me. you if you can't do anything. And here's that's the thing. I don't think always doing what the fans say is a good thing. I don't. But my ideas are far superior to theirs. That's what every fan says. No. Yes. <laughs> this is fact because I still haven't seen it in a Pokemon. Sure, it's there, but it's crap. Like the online version, like how you have to like go to like specific areas to be with friends. I was thinking uh like an a mixture between Animal Crossing and Pokemon. Okay. You know? So like more... that exists. Like what? My Pokemon Ranch on the Wii, and it didn't sell well. It did horrible. That's on the... No, like it was on the it... wait. That's on the Wii. That was one of the most successful consoles, not only of this generation but of all time. But here's the thing: they didn't do it right. That's why it didn't sell that much. I think 100 million units sold is absolutely sold enough. <laughs> Nintendo. I can give you ideas. I could be like, yo, we need this and this and this and this. I I so well or it sucks. Uh, you can uh, fire me and then call every other company and be like, yo, never hire this man. Mm -hmm. Not even for a reviewer. I will sign a contract. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, it's like, I know that there's a reason why game companies like won't specifically quote unquote listen to their customers but i i forgot what the reason was and it's just like i forget what it was anything. you'd you'd think right you'd think <laughs> but these co companies that's the thing companies absolutely know what fans want they absolutely know i think it's because like so... right like time and time again Reggie knows that fans want Mother 3 and a Thousand Year Door remake. Nintendo knows that people want that, but they don't make it. I think it's because, one, they're afraid to. Mm -hmm. They're afraid to fail. And two, if they get their ideas from somebody else, they'll be like, oh, they stole for him. They didn't give this man credit. But what about, like... First of all, I'm, there are tens of people who are like, and you don't have to credit me, so... Blame them, not not the company. Um, plus, they would credit. They do credit. Like Mr. David Soliani. Man was praised. And for good reason. He's a good man. For a shooting star, I had to press A, right? Just, just press A, yeah. Uh... Okay. I'm, I'm just staring here. I rarely get shooting stars, dude. I saw like two passing around my sky and I was trying to get like... I was trying to climb up. I rarely get them. Maybe I might find one. Um, but no, it's this time. But no, it's um. I know that that's like okay. So I found a one of the reasons is that studies have shown players are poor designers, Psh and on, that's true. That's Psh true because people because you you know what happened to fighting games, you know what happened to Street Fighter Five. They listen to the players. And that game sucks. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Five games in, you barely listen to your players. Yeah. No, true. they've been. And plus, yeah, it's only five games. They don't have much to work with. It's yeah, it's just the same things over and over. It's like Call of Duty. But there's only five games. Call of Duty see, come out every year. See, like right now, I don't see Animal Crossing listening to anybody else because this is as like I guess the peak of what they can do uh -huh. but for something like Pokemon you can make that game great again but no okay better. you know what that's that's something I'll agree with you on if, if it's a if it's a game that's getting like tons of hate then absolutely they should listen Absolutely. 
But if there if there are tons of people saying I have new ideas for this and new ideas for this, and why aren't they listening to me? Da, 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 then that's that's not the company's fault. It's like I have a new idea for a Call of Duty game where we bring back all the broken guns and put them in one game. Not um, not that I'm saying that that's an actual example people have given, but it, that sounds it's like just, a fun putting just OP weapons in a game. See, but that's it would just be balanced. See, okay, see, that's the thing, right? Exactly. Okay, so I was actually having that conversation with, of course, George the other day. I was like, the only I was like, person he talked to. he's the only person I can talk to, bro, because <laughs> we're stuck in stupid quarantine. Um, but I was talking to George the other day, and he's complaining about stuff that's broken and that they should nerf things and things like that. And I think that's completely wrong. Or you can nerfing, just say, nerf- stop playing Call of Duty. No, he's he's talking about like other games like Rocket League and Smash and things like that. And what in Rocket League is OP? <laughs> like strategies, I guess. Um, that's ju- no. Okay, but listen, it's I feel like, like that doesn't count. That's n- okay, right? It's it doesn't. But my point is, he's constantly complaining that things in games are broken and how like it's a cheap strat and things should be like straight earned. Um, Strats, uh, they're not a problem to me. Right. What's a what's a problem to me is if the person like Siege, different gadgets, mm-hmm. and their weapons. Because how come a base character who shoots has a higher recoil coil than a DLC character? That's why I hate DLC characters because most of the DLC characters have low recoil, and it pisses me off. Well, you see, that's the thing. Okay, so my thing is, whenever there is something added to a game that's absurdly strong. What they should do in response is not buff or not nerf the new character. They should buff the old characters. Because I feel like a game where every option where every option you have available to you is strong is more fun. Because that and that entices more creative play. Everything is viable. And it's just like why wouldn't you but, Why not buff everything? Like what? But what's... That's not what they're doing, though. In of C. course not, but they should. They took a they they took away a a freaking the. Okay, so they took away a scope from a character, uh-huh. and it's like a meme now in the in the in the uh, siege community. And then every every uh. Every defender in that game got their AUG taken away, except for uh, people who are level 3 armor. Because Mm -hmm. they don't like it when they peek. Mm -hmm. And then... Now, that character who got his AUG taken away, his scope, in the first place, now they're making him a 2-speed, so he doesn't run as fast. Mm-hmm. And now they're just nerfing them. I'm just like, no, this isn't good. Well, you see, that's, that's what I'm saying. They shouldn't nerf anything. We should be buffing things more than nerfing them. Because that's... The idea is, if everything's so busted, it's not busted anymore. It's balance. Mm -hmm. And George is against that. He hates that idea. I told him about it, and he was like, That's stupid, man! Um, I agree with you. Right! It, It would make a more fun game. Because you have all these elements that you're used to, and not only would buffing every character bring a whole new element to the game, but it's the same game. So, so it's like everything you know fundamentally can still work, but you can also toy around with more options and still enjoy the game you've been playing. Or to make it balanced, make the base character have the same kind of the same qualities as the. DLC oh my character. god. I'm sorry, I just found another oarfish. I feel so bad because all of my friends have been wanting oarfish. Like, they've been, like, mad at me because I've been getting oarfish and they haven't. Okay, continue on. So, like, I have a, I have a problem with uh, Cloud versus Marth. Why is that? Now, because Cloud's hitboxes last out, has, like, it's it stays out they longer linger. than Marth. They linger. I hate that so much. Uh-huh. That's so, fair. like, let's say, you know how he, he does that animation where he hits up, and then he puts well, his... his up air is famous, yeah. He sticks his sword up, but it stays there. Like, you know how his, his hand, it, the sword is behind him? Right. And he, he stays like that for a pose for, like, one or two frames. It's still up. Yeah. But, and it hurts you. But that's the thing, is, like, at the same time, it makes sense. 
How does it make sense? If you because just think, there, because think about it. There's whenever you, if you're holding a knife, a knife can always cut. No matter what, no matter what the state it's in, it can always cut. So Mars should have the same thing. Of course, sense. but they don't. And it's annoying. <laughs> I I get your frustration. Cloud has been a meme in Smash for ages, but Cloud's not a DLC anymore. He is. In no, my he's heart. not. He is in my heart. So essentially, the only characters who aren't DLC are Mario, <laughs> Yoshi, Fox, Samus, Ness, Captain Falcon, Luigi, Pikachu, and Jigglypuff. And then everybody else's DLC. Pretty much. That is straight lies. Because then you're using a DLC character. I never use DLC characters. You're using Marth. No. Yes. Marth has added been there since, uh, since, uh, since the olden times. Cloud has been there since Smash 3DS. But Marth has been there since Melee. Uh huh. And Snake has been there since Brawl. I don't use Snake. Okay. Okay. But still, my point is, these characters have been in the game. So they're not DLC. They're just veterans. What are you supposed to do with the batteries? <laughs> are you supposed to throw them away or... Batteries? What do you mean? I don't think you're supposed to throw batteries away. You can recycle them. You're, uh, you can. I think you can throw them away, but it's more proper to recycle them. But there are very specific places where you have to recycle them. Because I always see like, uh, like on the boxes, like, oh, don't throw the batteries away. I'm like, okay, well, tell me where to throw them. Or right. I'm just gonna keep throwing them in the trash. <laughs> well, you can recycle them. Yeah, oh, because the camera uses batteries, which I kind of like in a way. Well, all cameras use batteries. No, 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 no. Like you need, you can't recharge them. Oh, that sucks. No, the thing I like is because, um, I could be like, ah, oh, dude, I'm running out of batteries. Let's just go to the store real quick. There's, there's like a convenience store right there, and then you go and then you just boop, boop, and then there. Oh, I get you. So it just uses like standard like double A's and like triple yeah. A's and things. Oh, okay, so you okay. Don't have, you, you don't have to wait until you're to charge your your camera all the way to max. Well, you're just like, oh, let's get new batteries. Boop boop. And why not? It's max. Why not buy rechargeable batteries? No, that's what I did. I have. I bought one, two, three, eight. Because it takes four. So oh, I have, like, six. Two so so no matter what, something's charging. Yeah. Dope. And again, if I run out of those two sets of batteries, I could be like, let's just go to the store, buy more batteries, while these two charge. Mm -hmm. And I kind of like that. that uh, no, honestly, I like the ideas of batteries, and I miss that things don't run in double A's, but at the same time, it's like, if you don't run on an easily obtained battery, then run on a rechargeable one. But that's it's just because like, it's like... I think this the reason why this camera is cheap is because you know the kind the quality kind of sucks to be honest, but um, it runs on batteries, so that's okay. okay, and that's okay because I'm a smart boy and I have money and uh, I can always buy more batteries. And batteries are like what four dollars, maybe three, five dollars a pack, probably on average. Probably. I've I've seen some go up to ten. But that's uh, when that's when you get to like the bigger packs. Yeah, so just stock up on freaking batteries. Just buy yourself like fifty double A's. You'll be good for life. Uh, give me one sec. I'm gonna switch out the batteries. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> I thought you were gonna like go. Somewhere. Oh, you are going somewhere. You actually went to go switch out the batteries. Okay. How are you people doing tonight? I hope you guys are enjoying the podcast so far. And if you guys are, y'all better be listening on Spotify. I know y'all are only listening on Spotify. You guys have to be. There's nothing else you can listen to this on. Sure, on YouTube, but y'all gotta be listening on Spotify. I know you are, right? Look up T on Thursday on Spotify right now. You, you save that podcast. And then listen to that podcast every time a new episode comes out every week on Thursday. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Who are you talking to? 
I wasn't talking to anybody. Okay. But at the same time, I was talking. I was talking to the audience. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was telling them that they better be listening to this bo- to this podcast on Spotify. Am I right, Ryan? Yeah. Thank Do you. Do what he says. Okay. And then I just do this, and then I turn it on. Do you want to say what we're what we're getting the camera for? Because I we usually don't do stuff with cameras. Should okay. we say what we're using the camera for? Yes. Um, I got a camera, and mm-hmm. Cody might is most likely gonna get one because he's Cody and he likes weird things. I like to buy specifically things, yeah. retro things. It's I mean, not I that like... it's retro. It's just that it's. Because it it's nicer. it's it's both digital and physical copies of photos. So it's Any like hoosies. Mm-hmm. We are. The plan was that we were going to uh, Washington just to check out the scenery in and... March. Um, for very obvious reasons, that didn't happen. Yeah, and then now we have to wait. Mm-hmm. Um, what? I wanted it. I wanted it to. That, I sound weird saying that. I wanted to, um, kind of do like a vlog thing, just like a day to day thingy. I even bought two thirty two gigabytes SD cards. Oh, not bad. You're set. <laughs> so, and then I'm gonna take. I might. I might buy like a little laptop. So I gotta store it in. Right. In case the SD cards aren't enough. Delete the, everything on the SD card. And then, you know, do all that. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, we are going to take a trip to Washington one of these days. Um, hopefully pretty soon. Um, because, I mean, I had everything set, dude. Like, I had mm-hmm. everything, like, hotel and everything set. But things didn't happen. Uh, but... We'll be making that trip soon. I'll keep. I guess we'll keep y'all updated whenever something major happens with the trip to Washington. Um, but no, it's pretty sick. I'm excited. I think well, because then we... because then you know what, right? You know what we can do. You know what we can do when we're in Washington. We can walk right up to Xbox headquarters, put in our resumes, and then walk out. <laughs> You're like, I want to speak to your CEO. Give me Phil Spencer. He knows Listen, who I am. He's been expe- make, he's been expecting this call. I can make Halo great. <laughs> I can right. make Halo great. I for sure I can make Halo great again. I you think, do you think Halo's too far gone? Uh, yeah. You think there's no pulling it out? Like it's there's it's no just a complete. Out. What do you think the last game, Halo game was? It's not five. What do you think the last true Halo game was? Because the last one made by um, Bungie, or of course the people who made Halo, what it is today was I Halo the last, Reach. The last video game he, uh, the team made was like Destiny. Yeah, they're they're working on Destiny now, but the last game they made for Halo was Reach, and then they were like, "We're done. That's it." <laughs> Reach was, I think, Reach is like the it's the, the peak. last of the good. Yeah, it's it's peak Halo. <laughs> to be honest, I can't. I don't think I can make a good FPS shooter. It will have to be in, along the lines of, well, help make because I, I I can't do coding and all that stuff. Um, right. But as like story ideas and where it can lead to in the next step, yeah. Oh, there you are. Hello. Hello. Um. Oh wait. Stop. Um. I meant to do greetings, but I'm not changing the face. <laughs> you did it. Um, but I, I think if it was it was going to be shooter type thing, it would be have to like a story game, not mm-hmm. specifically shooting like Halo. Mm-hmm. Um, do you think you would do like what Portal is like a like a shooting puzzle game? Probably. For Halo, though? Oh, for no, puzzle? No, no. Oh, you were just talking about like a new shooter in general. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, okay. To be honest. Um, okay, so kind of switching to... Who, let's, dude, I was talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't mean you're not talking to me. Yeah, but now he's listening to my conversation. It's a her. 
I don't care who he she is. Yo, freaking wait. I, I I have the right to carry. I'll freaking shoot you. Leave. Oh my god. <laughs> Poor Nan. She's blessed. She's one of my favorites. Bro, <laughs> leave her alone. <laughs> you want to leave? Leave her alone, my guy. <laughs> Should I keep walking? Okay. Um. So I was gonna ask you. Um. How would you make Pokemon? Like, what what would be your ideal Pokemon game if you were to make it? Open world, but entirely open world. Not this partially open world stuff with a wild area. Mm -hmm. Like a purely open world Pokemon game. Yeah. And so get this, okay? See, okay, but then it's like, that's when this would become too different. It would have to become like... A spin-off game. People interested. So it's like, okay, so my idea... So this is going to be into, like, extreme fan game territory, all right? Sure. Um, so it's an open-world game. Of course, Pokemon can be flying in the air and, like, on the ground, and their bugs could, bugs could be hiding in the grass and things like that, like the actual anime. Mm -hmm. However, when you go into battle with somebody, you aren't the trainer. You will, you instead take control of the Pokemon. And so you can control the Pokemon. You can move around. Uh, you can move around in like a 3D arena. And then each of like your ABXY buttons are instead one of your four special attacks. And so this way, this means like you can target. You, you have full control of your special attacks and you can aim them at like the ground and stuff. And maybe like aiming a punch at the ground will cause like a giant piece of the ground to come up and make a wall or something or it's like if you now that you have full control of your pokemon if someone were to shoot a projectile at you you could just run out of the way mm -hmm. and then this this can also lead to different advantages so it's like all flying type pokemon can not only fight on the ground but they could fly in the air and this would make things like aiming important and sure this would this would completely kill Competitive Pokemon. Let me just say that. If you were to make this Pokemon game, competitive Pokemon is dead. You are not going to stick to standard Pokemon like how it is. Like Pokemon as it would change completely. But I feel like that would be the best peak Pokemon can get. It's just you, you control your trainer in an open world environment and then you take control of the Pokemon in battles. Yeah, um... Like I said, extreme fan game territory there. <laughs> okay, so, to be fair, I feel like if I were to go up to Nintendo and be like, I want to make a really good Pokemon game that I think you guys will like, and we'll make so much money that you'll just pee money, <laughs> um, will be, I will ask to be, for it to be non-canon, like a spinoff. Mm -hmm. Want it to be open world to play with your friends. Like you could go through the whole story with your friends. However, um, if you do that, the people who are you going against, their Pokemons will switch. So like it will be harder to battle with them mm -hmm. because you know to make a balance and to make it more interesting and fun. To to the point where you have to be like, okay, dude, you use that Pokemon and I'll use this Pokemon. We, we'll team up together and make combos. Mm -hmm. Um, I I was gonna say to have something like Pokin, but yeah. not that game. Something better. Hey, um, be nice. And, but I totally understand. And have two different modes. Like you can play classic for people who who don't have the ability to use, let's say, two arms or two hands. So you can like switch between both if you want classic, or you know that type of fighting. Um, make it more social, you know. I get you. Like I, I want to be able to, you know, feed your uh, Pokemon to play with your Pokemon. Have our Pokemon's play with each other. To yo, let's go to an adventure. Hey, 
we're in Johto. Do you want to like make the journey to Kyo Kyoto or whatever the freaking places are? It's basically, he a huge map. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't care. I honestly, I care about like, um, the size of my games because I hate when like, let's say Siege always updates for the stupidest little reasons. Mm -hmm. I would say, listen, this game's gonna be big. Buy another SD card. Yes, mm -hmm. it will save into your SD card, but you should probably make it buy an SD card for it for it to be specifically for this. Right. Um, because that would mean. Or why not just make a custom like cartridge? No, oh, yeah, that too. Um, but you know. You can, if you want this Pokemon, you have to make the journey to get all the way over there. And I think it'll, it'll be like fun and like little events will happen. Mm -hmm. Like, like in Pokemon Go, like you see everybody like running all the way to like the cancel region just to get this Pokemon. In Pokemon Go? No, no, in, in, <laughs> in, in said game that I want to make. Okay. And, uh, But, like, do it to where, like, I know, like, I'm not going to make it to where, like, oh, you need to eat food, but you have the choice to eat food, go into a restaurant, hang out, play some games, play mm -hmm. gamble, um, you know, do stuff with your Pokemon, because that's mm -hmm. what, because I see that in the anime. Right. And that's what, that's, I don't see the game Pokemon as Pokemon. I see the anime as Pokemon because that's where they bond more with their Pokemon. Right. Let me let me let me send you this image real quick. This is a, this was an image this is image became popular as hell a long time ago. And I'll put it up on screen. Um well, this is essentially what people think of as like the what the ideal Pokemon game would look like. Yeah, I hate shell, shell shading stuff, but yeah, right. I, I wouldn't mind that. That looks nice. Wouldn't that be sick? And yeah, like I said, your A, B, X, Y is set to your different attacks, mm -hmm. but except in the battle, you would just take control of your Pokemon. Yeah, I believe there is like another image for this. Yeah, there is, and like. <sighs> And so it's like, look at look at this one. You might like this one because, oh shoot, that's the same. What one. the hell? Copy image, paste. So look at this image, and look at how like the way red is interacting with this Pokemon, because like you yeah. see him like you see him like protect Pikachu from the Gyarados. Mm -hmm. And then it's like Pikachu's on his shoulder whenever there's all these ground type Pokemon because Pikachu can't do anything against ground type Pokemon. Yeah, that's that's something that I want, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure everyone wants. And do something more with clothing. Like clothing means so much to me in this game. I, like, I hate especially to... with Animal Crossing. Mm -hmm. And I think you should be able to like change the color of stuff that you want. And, yeah. I hate to say it because I know people are going to hate this. Or maybe they won't. Maybe they'll like this. But I want cross-dressing in Pokemon, damn it. I think cross-dressing is... Like, the idea of cross-dressing is so fun. Mm -hmm. That's why I always keep, like, this dress on me. Because I always swap to this dress. I think it's fun. I think it's a nice option. Yeah, that's fine. I don't mind it. I mean, I, I don't agree... But I wouldn't mind it. That's fair, right? If it if it doesn't hurt, why not, right? Like, I mean, that's your career. I don't, I'm not gonna. <laughs> but if you're forcing me to, you know. Did I say it was an option? I meant cross dressing is mandatory. <laughs> yeah, if it's mandatory. <laughs> you are not making me wear a dress. You can do whatever you want, but don't, don't force me, please. <laughs> I will hurt you. Um, but uh. Yeah, that's that's what I want. I think that game will make a lot of money. Right. Like, I will, 
like that that concept that I showed you, the mm-hmm. Pokemon Call of the Trainer. That game would make millions. It would make billions. <laughs> Dare I say it might make a hundred trillions? Oh, and oh my god! So I like I like gambling in Pokemon games. Mm-hmm. Um, you can watch. You could do like in Smash. You can watch people and place bets. Dude, I like, love that. I love that in Smash. I was really <laughs> sad when they said it wouldn't make a return, and then they added it, and I was like, oh, my god! Just, just imagine you can like and like. Placing bets on Pokemon battles would be pretty sick. And, and the, the, think about this. So, there would be a tournament online, obviously, for the best, the top 200 players going at it. And you can watch and you could place bets. Bro, place bets on like real life tournaments? That would be yeah, sick. Yeah. That, oh that would be sick, bro. But what would you bet? can't just bet money because then they would have to make money like so much more of a exp- like so much more of a rare resource oh well, yeah but they hand out money like it's air like when was Don't the last that. time you were worried about money in a pokemon game <laughs> when i spent it all in gambling right i um, think that would be sick because then it's, it's really like, like you get you get the players involved, and not only do you get like the players who are playing the tournament who are like actually nervous about this thing, but then you got the people who are watching involved because they're trying to make sure their bets go through and they're getting hyped. Oh my god, the thing that would be wild! Like, just imagine in the future, people are going to like real life bars, everyone has a switch out, and looking at the TV. Oh and my, you're true. talking about people that fighting shit. with each other, and then everyone's just like looking at their like, switch. Po- Pokemon much... becomes an actual sport, <laughs> uh, but I, I they're, will, they're I... like betting live as they go. They're like all in, all in on the Pikachu, all in on the Pikachu, bro. Do anything DLC, you know? Yeah, um, and, unless it's like, oh, hey, you want more uh Pokemon or you want more clothes? I won't do anything like, hey, um, you want money? Give me five bucks. Great. You want pokey dollars? Give me five dollars. Um, because I'm, I, I like to struggle in games. I don't know why. I know you do. That's, that's why you hate video games. Eh, yeah, kind of. To be honest, you hate video games. I hate video games. I know you do. It's because I care. <laughs> like in GTA, um, they're like, one of my friends was like, dude, I'll help you do this glitch and you can have like a bunch of money. And I'm like, yeah, nah. but that's easy, right? I feel like because I, because he's the type of person, Marco, if you're hearing this, I don't care. Um, he is the type of person who wants things and he wants them now. But mm-hmm. he doesn't like to put the effort because in that game, it's just repetitive stuff, and he doesn't like to do repetitive stuff. Mm-hmm. But he's he always gets bored at the end of the day because I'm like, well, you because get he has because nothing to do. You have nothing to do. You have money, and the only thing you, that you've achieved you've achieved the end game. You just yeah. you just unlock the end. Good job. And all all he does is just. His fun things are to get new clothes, make new outfits, customize cars, buy new cars, sell them, and just drive around. And I'm like, mm. so yeah. the The only thing he has to like even get excited about is new updates, mm-hmm. so he can get those things. But oh my. Yo, Bro, be nice to Nan. She's great. Oh, she... Six feet. <laughs> Six, shut up, bro. <laughs> oh, now he's not. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Are we having a guest now? Hmm? No, Nan is not a guest. Although, I'll gladly have Nan as a guest. Nan, you want to be on the podcast? I'm caring. I have a strap. I have a strap. I'll use it. Back up, back. Up. 
<laughs> Bro. <laughs> <laughs> like my backhand? Yeah. But yeah, you hate video games. Hate them but it's bad. not a bad thing. Nah. You hate them because you want to love them. It's because I obviously see the flaws and I can easily tell, show you and tell you how to make a good game. But that doesn't necessarily mean, just because you have good ideas doesn't mean it'll make a good game. It'll make a good game, trust me. <laughs> but there, there's some territories of games that I know that I won't make a good game out of. Mm-hmm. So, like, I, I know that I can't make a good Last of Us game because that's that's something. I can't make a good Halo game. I can't make a good Call of Duty game. No I, way you're making a good Banjo game. No, because... A good no. Mario game? Because... A good Mario game, I consider Mario Maker a good. A good Mario Mario. game? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Mario Odyssey sucks. Freaking garbage. You've you've let your opinion on Mario Odyssey be uh, said. Yucky. Mm -hmm. Um... Could I make a good Pokémon game? Yes. A good Pokémon game, like a fighting, yeah. the fighting one. Mm-hmm. Oh. Interesting. Just get rid of that camera. That camera sucked. Jesus. Just, just go full two D. Just go full two D fighter. Two D or <laughs> something that doesn't feel like it's locked on all the time. You know. What do you mean? Like you know how in Pokemon it's like locked on in a bit, like how you can't really move around. I want to be. It's always behind the shoulder. But it's something. But it's a fighting game. I don't know. Maybe I can't make a better Pokemon game. I guess Uh, Pokemon game. I guess it's gonna be two D. But then I'll just be you know Smash, and it's like uh, yeah. I I feel like do do you think Smash will ever become like a Street Fighter remake? I can probably make. Uh, something with Rockstar, I know I could make a good one. Like just a good Rockstar game in general. Mm-hmm. So it's because, like it, you know, it wouldn't matter which one, like a GTA or a Bully no, don't or a push, Red Dead. Don't push. Six feet. Okay. Um. So, but yeah. So it's like if I said, "Can you make a good Bully game? Would you make a good Bully game?" I wasn't really into bullies, so I would say no. What about? But I can make a good San Andreas game, and or Red Dead game. Mm-hmm. Um, because I like I'll, I'll make it more like uh, San Andreas Four, and I kind of see the flaws of of uh, Red Dead Redemption Two. Yo, can you stop pushing? <laughs> <laughs> and um I, I love the I I love cowboys. Like I, I grew up watching old cowboy movies. Mm-hmm. So I like that that's a close place to my heart. So that's why I was like really hyped when that game came out. Because I wanted to be a cowboy so bad. Right. Um But yeah, I know I can make a good story. It will be kind of cliche, but oh. I will try to make it kind of darker and more different something more modern but still cliche but with the with the san uh san Andreas, freaking gta i have that humor right. where it's like i can i can really make a stupid but serious um san Andreas game mm-hmm. um i keep saying san Andreas. gta sorry yeah, I, I was noticing that. I was like, huh. San Andreas 4, San Andreas 5, San Andreas 5 online, San Andreas, uh, San Andreas, San Andreas. But if I, I like to bring, I would like to bring like old characters back. Like, yo, CJ, he's right there. And it's like, hey, yo, CJ. Or like make references ne- to me. Dude, seeing Nico return in the Grand Theft Auto game would be hype. 
Right? Like, I'll, I'll probably make him, like, like, a person who, who, like, comes out of nowhere. Like, oh, we need help with something, and he comes out, like, I can help you. It's like, I got a buddy. Hang on. It's like, I got, a, I got a buddy who can help us out. He'll be there. And then it's like, you do the mission. Halfway through the mission, he's not there. You guys are struggling. You guys are backed up against the wall. Then you hear like a gunshot, and then boom, it's Nico. And that was the hell. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like, oh. Yeah, something like that. Right. It'd be cool. Something like seeing old CJ, but he's still like calling the shots. Yeah. Something like that. Um, so actually, we, we are going to have to wrap things up in a bit. Okay, that's fine. Is there anything else you'd want to say on video games you hate? Um, video games that I despise? Just video right. games in general. Just because this podcast has just been, we hate, we just hate video games, bro. Hate, that's just how it a, is. There's the title, We Hate Video Games. Um... Video games are cool and they hold a special place in my heart. Mm -hmm. They got me through a lot of stuff. And they're always there for me. Yeah. Which is why I hate them. <laughs> yep, they're too supportive. They're I too supportive. <laughs> How dare you? How dare Animal Crossing be daily checking me in, always How making sure I'm How happy with my town? How dare they make it look pretty? Look, look at that. Look right, look pretty. at that pute, that pretty Ew. Sakura. Let me just, Ew. let me just get rid. Get to I'll shoot it. Yep. <laughs> there it is. Look at that. Get it out of here. Absolute trash. So yeah, that was pretty chill. That was pretty vibing. <laughs>